So the iPhone 6, it bent, Bengate. So far we thought the iPhone 6S was pretty good until now. This is Chipgate. Hey everybody, this is Mark with Alptech 128. And this is everything you need to know about Chipgate. So we're gonna go over a few things about Chipgate in this video so you know everything there is to know about it. First, what is Chipgate? So we're gonna be going over that in this video. Also, how does it affect devices in real life? I have a shiny new iPhone 6 right here, which I'll tell you the problem with it later. Um, so you'll understand what's going on. So first, a little information on Chipgate. Apple usually picks between Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company or Samsung. They pick one or the other. They go back and forth every year, but they pick one company to make a chip for every iPhone. This year, however, with the iPhone 6S, they couldn't make up their mind, so they picked both. So if you pick up an iPhone 6, you could get the chip, A9 chip made by Samsung or TSMC. It's 50-50 pretty much. Um, TSMC is pulling ahead a little bit on devices. It varies by device, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but they went with both, but the TSMC chip is then slightly popular. There really is no method to which chip is in your device. It's slightly greater chance that you get Samsung with the iPhone 6 over the 6 Plus. And if you get a greater capacity, I have 64 gigabytes, just increases my chances of getting a Samsung chip more than if it was 16 gigabytes. There's really no method at all, just pure luck. So here's what's going on with Chipgate. People are saying that they have an iPhone 6 with a Samsung chip inside. And compared to the one with a TMC A9 chip, battery life is completely different. Samsung chips make the devices much worse in battery life. Now, I noticed this with my iPhone 6S. Um, battery life was slightly worse, not by much. I, at the end of the day, I don't, I'm not a heavy phone user, I'm usually on the computer, um, but at the end of the day, usually 50, 45% on the 6S, where the 6 had somewhere between 55 to 60. So not a ton difference, but I did notice there was slightly worse battery life on the iPhone 6S. I thought partially that was due to the fact that um, this has a smaller battery. We know that for sure. iOS 9 does pretty good with battery, but um, I wasn't quite sure if that was why, just because it had a smaller battery. So I was really interested in knowing if my iPhone 6S had a TSMC or a Samsung chip. So using an app called CPU Identifier, you're able to find out. So this is the app right here, CPU Identifier. You open it up. I'll have a link in the description below if you want to pick it up. But it tells you which chip you have. I have the S8000. You can see right there, I have the Samsung chip in this phone, which is the one that has worse battery life. But as you can see, I have a Samsung chip in my phone. First, I was kind of surprised, like, no, I don't want it. Um, but it's really not a huge issue to me. Battery life isn't much worse. And I don't have my hands on a TSMC device. So I'm not sure how battery life compares if it's really that smaller battery that's giving me that difference. Apple came out today, not too long ago, like an hour ago, saying that um, they do recognize that there is a battery life difference between the Samsung and TSMC devices, but they're only saying that there's about two to three percent battery life difference you know, on the worst side um, if you have a Samsung chip in real life. If you do testing, um, there's lots of people on YouTube that have tests, and you can go check that out for full testing. This is a video about, about um, Chipgate. But um, in real life testing, about 2-3% to difference is Apple. Uh, others say differently, but that's not real world uses. This is just a way to drain the battery. That's going to do me for this video on everything you know about Chipgate on the iPhone 6S. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you want to see what type of chip you have in your iPhone 6S, you can do so with that link down in the description below. Pick up that app right there. 
But thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked it, feel free to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. This is Mark with iApple Tech 128, and have a great day.